<laughs> All righty. Let's get started in kneeling. So you guys will need a block, ideally. If you've got your rolls there as well, grab that. But if you don't, don't worry. If you want to sit cross leg because that's just better for you, do that too. That's fine. Let's start with Brahmari into all sides of the heart. So bring the hands across the front of the chest. Just take a breath in through the nose together. Exhale out through the mouth. We'll do five primary breaths into the front of the heart. But before we start, remember what the intention is with primary. So the idea with this breath is that we're, by the vibration that we create through the sound, it gives the fascia um, like a little bit of a knock. And what that knock does is starts to unwind some of the tension around like the deeper aspects of the heart. So see if you can... Touch into that sensation as you're doing these five breaths. Like really go inward. Okay, deep breath in. Buzz in on your breath out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then bring the hands to the sides of the heart. So you can either do hands like so, like on the sides of your ribs like this. Or for some of you, it might be more comfortable to cross your arms. So just feel into where you can um, relax the most. And then that same notion, it's like this whole entire network of fascia that's inside that grips and grabs around the places where we, we typically hold tension. And the vibration of the breath just gives that network a little bit of a tap that then encourages it to start to relax and release. So deep breath in. Mm.
And then bring the hands to the back of the heart. So you can have one hand at the back there if that's enough, or if you can do both, awesome. It's just, the hand there is just so that your brain has a reference to the place that you're aiming to feel in. And then same thing again. So we're just gently bringing awareness to these intricate areas, like way deeper inside. A deep breath in. Mm. And place both hands on your thighs. With your eyes closed, take a couple of feeling breaths just into the three areas that we've buzzed into so far. And feel for the area, the, the area where you feel least connected. And maybe that's that there's just less sensation there Maybe you just couldn't quite feel your breath in that place. In whichever area that is for you today, go back and do five more primary breaths in your own time in that place. There's no rush, but once you've finished your five breaths, release both hands, keep your eyes closed. So this particular area where you feel like your breath is limited, this will be the area where you keep most of your awareness today. Okay, so we're using the breath to wake up and activate these areas of numbness or dullness or just wherever the areas in the body tend to typically stagnate for us. Take one more feeling breath in. When you breathe out, open your eyes 
and move the block away. <clears throat> Come into a seated side bend. So you've got your left leg out and the right foot in. And then sit back enough so that you feel your sit bones plug down, which will mean that probably the lower belly activates. So you want to rock back enough so that you're not leaning into the future. And then you'll feel the back of the head over the sacrum. So you get nice and long through the spine. And then inhale, lift up through the left arm. Get really long through the left side rib cage. Bring the left hand either inside or outside the left shin or thigh. And then take the right arm behind your back for a half bind. So if you can grab your thigh, awesome. Leggings is fine. What I want you guys to focus on today is keeping very much um, upright through the spine. So notice that tendency with the upper back to round in. And feel for a really um, exaggerated lift in the chest. Almost like you're doing a cobra. Almost. Okay, once you've got that, start to feel a relaxing through the neck, but feel for the way that you relax your neck personally. So for some of us, it might be that your left ear goes towards left shoulder. It might mean that your chin needs to tilt skyward. It might mean that your chin needs to tilt in. But what we're aiming to do is, is find for us the, the, the place where we hold tension. And then we manipulate the pose in a way that helps us get right into the center of that place. If today it means that you move tension by keeping the neck moving, so it might be that you almost do like a little bit of a pendulum where the chin moves away from the chest and then it tucks back in. And that just seems to help release some of the stickiness in the neck Then do that. Feel for when you breathe in like your breath moves in through the right ear swirls around the right side of your brain and then drains all the way down the right side of your neck to the upper right side of your chest. A little bit like the breath is like liquid. Feel how when you breathe out, there's another layer of let go. Something changes. And then from there, reach your right arm to your right. Keep the neck super relaxed. Put your left hand at the side of the left hand. Um, of your head and help your head up so super super slow and before we move to the other side just pause in the center there and notice the difference from the right side of your neck to your left for me it's like my right side is twice as long as my left and then change sides so the right leg extends, the left leg comes in. You take a breath to lift up through the right side with cage. The right hand lands where you need it to. And then the left arm comes behind. So again, you're either grabbing leggings or thigh. For me, sometimes if I grab my thigh, it really makes my ribs flare forward, which often takes me out of releasing the neck. So maybe today it's just a grab of the leggings, but see how you go. And then again, we want to lift up through the chest. So it's very much an actively upright spine. We're feeling the sit bones plug down. And then we play with where the neck needs to go. So for some of us, sure, the right ear to right shoulder will get the, the release that we need. But for others, maybe the chin comes in, maybe the chin goes back. Maybe there's a movement between the two. 
a little bit like you're flossing the, the fascia with the movement. Remembering that the fascia, once it, it thickens, there's a lack of movement. So when we bring movement in, it's like the tissues then start to glide along each other again. There's a lubrication that happens. Again, imagine that the breath moves in through left ear. Swirls all around the left side of the brain. And then trickles down from the brain of the left side of the neck, the upper left side of the chest, left side of the heart. And then using the left hand, bring the body up. Remember the right hand supports the head. The neck muscles stay relaxed. We come all the way up on the inhale. Pause there, let the shoulders relax and feel for the space that's created it's from the base of the ears to the top of the shoulders there. So already we've started to open the channel between the brain and the body. And then come into cross legs. So the left leg comes in front of the right. We'll take the left hand underneath the left butt cheek for neck release. So remember with this one, we're sat up tall. Same thing, we wanna keep the collarbones spread wide. And then there's just a slight tilt of the torso to the right. It's only slight. Lift the chest again as you breathe in. And then let the right ear relax down again. So we're just going after another little bit of a let go through the left side of the neck. This time, breathe in through the left collarbone, like soak the breath in there. And as you exhale, see if you can relax the left shoulder joint, like the, the place where your collarbone meets the bone. But let that relax. And then notice as you relax your bones, there's a spaciousness that occurs in the tissues. Breathe into that place. Keeping the chest upright, take another inhale. And this time turn the tip of your nose towards your right shoulder. Now again, you might bring the chin in towards the chest. That might feel better for you. It might just tap into the place at the back of the neck that you need. But maybe the chin, the chin tilts skyward, so play with it, like feel in. Is your tension more at the front of the neck, the back of the neck or the side? And again, there's nothing wrong with the moving between two. It doesn't have to be stationary. And then use your breath in a way that helps you relax the tissues. So notice if there's this like focus on the results like you're trying to get an outcome and instead just bring your awareness back to breathing through the space that's occurring release both hands onto your knees take an inhale let the head hang forward on an exhale. 
So you've still got the collarbones spread wide. The chest is open and the spine is definitely lifted. You're feeling for a little let go in between the shoulder blades and all along the back tissues of the neck. And then place the left palm of the hand on your forehead. Let your forehead be really heavy in the hand and just ease your head up super slow. Change the cross of the legs. Right leg in front of left. The right hand comes under right butt cheek. Same, same. You inhale to lift up and lengthen. Collarbones spread, feet active. And this time the left ear towards the shoulder. You start to feel like when you let go through the, through the right side of the neck there, like you can feel if you really focus inward, there's, a, there's an unraveling around the whole right side of the heart. Just be really aware of the excess tension through the back teeth and the jaw. It's a feeling of let go there. And then the second stage is turning the tip of the nose towards the shoulder. So remember, for some of you, the back of the neck will be tighter. For others, the front. And for others, maybe it's the movement between the two. So the chin comes in, the nose tucks towards the shoulder, and then the chin moves away. We go back and forth, a little bit like a pendulum. And maybe you do a few movements like that and then hold for a little. And then lastly, the head comes through center again. The chest is lifted, the collarbones are spread, and the head hangs down through the midline. Feel how there's a little bit more willingness in the tissues to let go, like they're beginning to understand now. Okay, this is where we're going. This is what we need to do. And then continue to support that process with the way that you breathe. Place the palm of the hand on the forehead. That's the right hand. Help the head up easy. And then just pause for a moment. Feel what's changed. Maybe the scalp across the skull is a little bit softer and there's more space there in the brain. Maybe there's less tension through the inner ears so you can hear or listen a little more. Maybe the heart feels a little bit softer. There's less hardness there. Sorry, Liz, can I ask a question? Yes. When um, I had to sit on a block, I, when I'm just sitting like that um, cross-legged, I'm just 
my legs are just, I'm focusing to try and keep my legs crossed. And so I just sat up on a block and I felt it I felt better, though I could concentrate more on yeah, this. Yeah, no problem. Totally yeah. okay. I don't know if anyone else did that. I just can't, you know. Totally okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. No worries. All righty, you guys will need your blocks. You might want to watch this first. We've done it before, but not for a while. Come down onto your back. Now, the options are to keep your knees bent, feet flat. If you want to go deeper, obviously the feet are up. Remember, this is about feeling the deep layers of your lower abdomen, your internal obliques. So if you're not feeling that and you're feeling your back, you've gone too deep. Okay, feet on the floor is a great place to start. And then the block comes this way, the longest way on your left thigh. And the right hand is on the block if your feet are on the floor. If your feet are up, your right forearm is on the block. The left arm goes straight up towards the ceiling like so. All righty. So set that up. I'm going to do this with feet down. You can more than welcome to do it with feet up. The chin is stuck and the back of the neck is long. And your front ribs pull down. So just be very aware of those front ribs popping up. That way, then we keep this really focused in the abdomen. Okay. So right hand on the block or right forearm on the block, feet up or down, left arm straight up. Take a huge feeling breath, this time through the side rib cage. Hold the breath, press hand, block, thigh together so really press strong as you exhale extend the right leg forward like you would in elbow to knee reach through the right heel and the ball of the foot exhale pull the belly in inhale bring the right knee back either to the floor or back just to the um, neutral take a huge feeling breath through the back of the body Hold the breath, press arm, block, thigh together, press, press. As you exhale, extend the right leg forward and this time send the left arm up a little. We're teaching the shoulders and the abs to talk to each other. The same time as you do that, pull the belly down. Inhale back to neutral, the right knee bends. Hold the breath, press hand, block, thigh together. So create a little bit of resistance. As you exhale, extend the right leg forward little reach up of the left arm, same time, pull the belly in. Inhale back to the midline. Hold the breath, press hand block thigh together, press, press. Exhale, extend right leg forward, little reach of the left arm skyward, make sure that the chin stays tucked and then pull belly in. Inhale back to center, hold the breath. Press arm, block, thigh, press, press. Exhale, extend, right leg forward, reach, reach. Lift a little through the left arm and then pull your belly in. Inhale back to center. Change sides as you exhale. So if you need to put the feet down in the middle, do that, no problem. Remember, if you've got the feet up, you've got your left forearm on the block this time and the block is on the right thigh. Otherwise, left hand on the block is fine. Everybody, right arm straight up. Before we start, check the chin is tucked, the back of the neck is long, the front ribs are actively pulling down, and then big feeling breath through side ribs. Hold the breath, press hand, block thigh together, press, press. As you exhale, extend the left leg forward like elbow to knee, spread through the toes and pull the belly down. Inhale, left knee back to centre. Hold the breath, press hand, block, thigh, press, press. As you exhale, extend the left leg forward, reach up through the right arm, fingers spread, pull your belly in. Inhale back to center, hold the breath, press hand, block, thigh, press, press. Extend the left leg forward, reach right arm skyward and pull your belly down. Inhale back to center, hold the breath. Press hand, block thigh, press, press. Exhale, extend the left leg forward, reach the right arm up. So we're teaching shoulder joint and lower abdominal to talk. Pull your belly in and then inhale back to center. Hold the breath, press hand, block thigh, press, press. 
Exhale, extend, left leg forward, reach right arm skyward, pull your belly in. Inhale back, release as you exhale. With your eyes closed, take a mindful breath into your lower belly. Like put your mind where your muscles are working. Feel for what is activated in that place. And then we move from the internal to the external. So we work in external oblique activation. This time, the block comes back to the left thigh, but the left hand or forearm is on the block. So if your feet are down, it's your hand. If your feet are up, it's your forearm. And the right arm goes straight up. So block is on the left leg with the left arm. Chin is tucked, neck is long. Inhale through the side ribs. Hold the breath, press hand block thigh together, press, press. As you exhale, extend the right leg forward, reach the right arm skyward and pull the belly in. Inhale back to midline. Hold the breath, press hand block thigh, create a little bit of resistance as you exhale, extend the right leg forward, reach the right arm skyward and pull the belly in. Inhale back to the midline, hold the breath. Press hand, block thigh, and the lower back presses down. As you exhale, extend the right leg forward, reach the right arm skyward, and pull the belly in. Inhale back to center. Hold the breath. Press hand, block thigh, press, press. As you exhale, extend right leg forward, reach right arm skyward, fingers spread wide, pull the belly in. Inhale back to the midline. Change the leg as you exhale. So the block now goes on the right leg. If the feet are up, it's your forearm on the block. If the feet are down, it's the palm of the right hand. The chin is tucked, the neck is long, and the left arm goes straight up this time. Fingers spread nice and wide. When we're working through these abs, really see that there's a relationship between your shoulders and your belly. So see what you can feel, particularly through the back line of the body. Big breath through the side ribs. Hold the breath, press hand, block thigh. So get a little bit of resistance. And as you exhale, extend the left leg forward, reach the left arm skyward. Keep pulling low belly down. Lower back presses. Inhale back to midline. Hold the breath, press hand, block thigh, press, press. Exhale, extend the left leg forward, reach left arm skyward. Keep pulling low belly down. Inhale back to the midline. Hold the breath, press hand, block thigh, press, press. Exhale, extend the left leg forward, spread the left toes, and this time feel the little bit of the left butt cheek turn on. Pull your belly down. Inhale back to midline, hold the breath. Low back presses, hand and block press. Extend the left leg forward as you exhale, reach the left arm skyward. Keep the chin tucked and pull belly in. Inhale back to midline. Hold the breath. Press hand block thigh as you exhale. Extend the left leg forward. Reach through the ball of the foot. Reach the left arm skyward and keep pulling low belly in. Inhale back to the midline. Release as you exhale. Pause there, feel the back of the shoulders and the lower belly. Washing your breath through both places as they communicate. And then roll onto one side, come onto hands and knees. Measure your upper arm bones and clasp your hands. Turn your forearms, the back of the neck is long. Take a deep feeling breath through both side rib cage. Tuck your toes, exhale, straighten your legs. If you need to work with knees down, that's always an option. You guys know that. Once your knees are lifted, walk your feet back enough so that your heels lift up because you don't want your feet flat for this. So for some of you, that might mean taking your stance in this pose like a, quite a lot longer. 
dolphin with Achilles tendon stretch. Walk your feet together so they're about three inches apart, something like that. And then slot the air, um, the, the gap between the big toe and the, and the second toe of the right foot on the back of the left heel. Take an inhale through the armpits. As you exhale, lift up away from the floor through your spine. And at the same time, use your right foot to lengthen out the back of the left leg. Feel how when you release the tension in the calf that does something to the tension in the upper back. There's one big massive sheet of fascia that goes from the base of the toes all the way up to the skull. Release and change sides. Take a feeling breath through the upper back. Slot the left toes onto the back of the right heel. And as you exhale, feel the lengthening down the, the, the back of the right calf. But notice also how that does something to the tension in the upper back. That whole idea that when we when we have a tension in the neck, the shoulders and the upper back, it's probably got something to do with what's going on in our pelvis. So we look for the joints below where the tension is occurring. Take one more feeling breath as you lift up through shoulders, through chest, through armpits. and then lower the knees down as you breathe out. Come on up to standing. We'll move through a couple of rounds of suns, just super simple. Use these suns to, to move now the tension that we've worked to to kind of start the release. Now use the suns as though they're flushing the remaining tension out. So nothing too rigid, nothing too strict. As you inhale, take the arms skyward. Feel for lifting through the side rib cage. And then as you exhale, fold. Just let your body flop forward. From there, take the right leg back, knee down. Come up into a lunge, inhale. If you want to take the arms in cactus, you can. And then plant the palms and step to plank. Knees come down as you lower on the exhale. It's a little baby cobra as you inhale. So the chest moves forward. Upper back squeezes, but the chin stays tucked. And then downward facing dog as you exhale. Keep the body as relaxed as you can. Right foot forward, knee down for lunge. Inhale, arms come up. So again, you can do a little cactus in the arms if you want. Chest lifts. And then the hands move forward and we step forward and fold. So at the back of the neck go. A little bit like your spine is a waterfall, like there's no tension there. Come all the way up as you inhale, arms reach. Feel for length. And then hands to heart as you exhale. Inhale, arms reach. Again, just easy, no strain. Fold as you exhale, let the back of the neck go. Take the left leg back for lunge, inhale. Plant the palms for plank and lower as you exhale. Knees go down. Come into cobra as you inhale again. Feel the upper back work more. To down dog as you exhale. Left leg for lunge. Inhale, huge breath in. 
Plant the palms, step forwards. Fold fully as you exhale. Come all the way up on an inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, arms reach. Maybe a little back bend there. Exhale to fold. Take the right leg back for lunge, inhale. Plank. Knees down if you need, lower on your exhale. Cobra, maybe a little higher, maybe not. Feel for where you need to reach through the back of the body. Down dog on the exhale. Right foot for lunge, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, the back of the neck go, and notice the tension around this, the cheekbones and your eyes. Come all the way up as you breathe in. Hands to heart as you breathe out. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale to fold. Left leg for lunge again as you breathe in, lift the chest a little. Maybe this time the arms come wider. Plank. Knees go down if you need, come all the way. Cobra, feel the legs work a little more. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg for lunge, big breath in. Step forward and fold as you breathe out completely. Let go through the jaw. Press through the feet, come all the way up on an inhale. And hands rest, easy at the heart on an exhale. Chest up on the wall. I'm just gonna show you guys these three hand positions. So the first one, you'll have your palm on the wall. The second, you will put this part of your fist on the wall. And the third, you'll go back to the palm on the wall, but you will pendulum. So the pinky stays on the wall and you peel your hand away and then you peel it back. All righty. So let's start with, we'll start with the left knee bent. So you're in a warrior one position. And then you take the left hand behind like you would in a regular chest opener on the wall. So we'll start with that first position that we know. Remember guys with this, like it's up to you how you do it, but you're working to release the tension that you carry in your shoulder. So for some of you, the left hand might need to be a lot higher than the shoulder. For some of you, it might need to be lower. Some of you might need to bend your elbow. Work with what you need. Keep the legs strong so you've got the foundation of the lower body. And then put your right hand on your heart. So again, deep breath into the place where you have your hand, like really feel your breath there. You feel like the chest lifts up and then as you exhale, the left shoulder blade slides down your back. And you turn the chest away from the wall slightly, but the head stays still. So avoid the whole head movement. And just think about moving the upper left side of your chest towards the center of the room. Inhale, the chest lifts again. 
and then ease it away as the exhale. Second stage, make a little fist and bring the inner part of the fist on the wall. Now, for some of you, you might come into that and it's just way too much, in which case go back to the previous version. Otherwise, inhale, press your fist into the wall, lift the chest. And as you exhale, move the chest away from the wall. So it just gets into another little bit of the tension there. Again, inhale into the upper left side of the chest, lift up, ease the chest away from the wall as you exhale. If that's enough for you, stay with one more of those. If you can go to the third version, your palm is back on the wall again. This time you inhale. And as you exhale, you peel your palm away from the wall, keeping the pinky finger connected. So the thumb and the other three fingers lift. And then you exhale, place it back. So you inhale, peel the palm away. It's like flossing the the fascial network of your upper chest, exhale, the palm reaches back to the wall. Wherever you are, do one more inhale. And exhale. And then slowly slide your left arm down the wall. Oh my actual God. Pause there for a moment to feel what's changed from left to right because there will have been some change. <laughs> you guys feel that? Can I get some? Yes, good one, Jackie. Good, good, good. Awesome. Let's go to the other side. We're actually in the season of this this meridian anyway, it's the heart and small intestine. So it's not surprising that there's tension in this area. So let's start with the original chest opener on the wall. Remember you can place your hand wherever you need to, to get into your right chest. And then left hand on the heart, inhale, lift the chest up. You're in a warrior one position and you're moving your chest away from the wall. So again, it's about sliding the right shoulder blade down the back. Lifting up through the heart and trying to leave the neck out of it as much as possible. Like we've really relaxed the neck today, which means that any compensation in that area has been taken out. So we're able to get into the other deeper tension patterns a little bit easier. Yeah. Oh. All right, let's go to stage two. If that's too intense, which it actually is for me on this side, you might just want to come back to the previous, but the little um, fist, the inner side of the fist goes onto the wall this time. We press that slightly into the wall as you inhale, lift the chest, and then you move the upper right side of the chest away from the wall. That is majorly intense for me. Um, so, so just be mindful, these, these versions they're not chronologically tight. Like it might be that you do the first and the third and they're super easy, but the middle one's really challenging. So just be open to where you feel the most tension. Just be mindful that you're not building more. Oh, and then the final one, the palm is on the wall again. Still in a worry one position, we inhale, lift the chest, and then with pendulum, so you peel the thumb and the other four fingers away, keep the pinky finger connected, and then exhale, bring the palm back to the wall. So we've got inhale, the thumb and the three fingers peel, exhale, the palm back to the wall. Whew. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. And slide the right arm down the wall. Just come off the wall and stand there for a moment. Let your arms rest by your side and feel for what sensations are occurring. Through the chest bones, maybe the back of the heart, the arms, the, the legs. <laughs> Mm 
and then come to the top of the mat. Feet together are apart. Inhale up into chair pose. If you can get your arms up, they're not dead. Exhale, fold. Take a halfway lift, inhale. And step back to plank. Lower all the way as you exhale. Knees up or down, it's up to you. Come into a cobra on an inhale. And press into downward facing dog as you exhale. So coming into warrior one with brain cradle, but you guys have got an option. So if warrior one is too much, you can do it with a lunge version, which I'm going to do today. Otherwise, you come into warrior one position, fingers interlaced, hands at the very base of the skull. So what you want to do is get your the heels of your hands to squeeze the neck, which will add an additional release for that area of the body. Elbows in nice and close. Take an inhale. And then I want you guys to feel it's like you're traction in. It's like you're lifting your skull up off your neck. So it's not a vigorous action. It's just enough to feel that the tension at the back of the heart, like in between the shoulder blades can relax. And from there, relax the brain. You're in a warrior one position. Make sure your back leg working equally as much as your front. If you're in the lunge, feel your butt cheeks work. And then everybody release, place the right hand on the floor, tuck the right toes under, lift the back knee up. Inhale the left arm straight up. It's an easy twisting lunge. Little bend through the right elbow, slide the right shoulder down. Exhale, relax the neck. So put your head somewhere that allows you to feel as though there's a little bit of let go through the left side of the neck. Inhale into right hip. Exhale, reach the right leg back and twist from the navel as you breathe out. Feel a little bit more movement through the spine. Release, plant the palms, press to plank. Take an inhale here and then come all the way down on an exhale. Take your arms straight forward. I'm just going to move my mic. So your forehead is on the floor. Arms are straight forward like Superman. Take an inhale, lift the arms and the legs. Exhale, lower. Again, inhale, lift the arms and the legs. Exhale, lower. Do three more. Feel the arms and legs lift even. Get long through the spine and lower. Again, inhale to lift, lengthen and lower. One more inhale, stay here as you lengthen. Lower on the exhale, press back, down dog. Full feeling breath in. Open your mouth as you exhale to empty. And then up to you, warrior one, a lunge. Step the right foot forward. Brain cradle, fingers interlaced. Heels of the hands squeeze where the tension is at the back of the neck. Elbows in close. Deep feeling breath wherever you are. Feet down or up, it doesn't matter. Feel your legs work. You get the support there as you let go through the spine, the brain, the eyes. Mm -hmm. 
And deep breath into armpits and upper back. Send your elbows skyward as you exhale. Feel the upper lobes of your chest lift up. Release, put the left hand down, tuck the left toes under, and then inhale the right arm up. Feel again as you inhale for reaching the crown of the head forward. And then twisting from the navel as you exhale, feel for a deeper let go through the right side of the neck. Release, plant both palms and step down dog only. Deep feeling breath in. Exhale to empty. Step the left foot forward. Put the back knee down, set up for arrow lunge. Now, this is an option, guys. If you want to take it a little less intense, put a roll underneath your thigh. Remember with arrow lunge that the tops of the foot are on the floor. So toenails are onto the mat. If you have a little bit more in you, you can do this with your hands on the floor, hands on blocks or hands in the air. So the most modified is supporting with a roll or a block there underneath the thigh. And then as you inhale, you feel the chest move forward and the thighs engage. On the exhale, separate your teeth. So the aim here is to feel like every muscle in the face is relaxed. So we're not transferring the tension elsewhere. And then the breath is steady, right? So easy breath, there's no strain. Release, come into lounge lunge. If you want to change lounge lunge up a little bit, you can have um, a block underneath your right hand and it will just get up a little bit higher into the armpit there. Otherwise, the right hand is on the floor, that's no problem. And then the left arm wraps around the shin and we want to feel like if you're on the block especially, there's a little bit of a lift up through the right side rib cage there. And then let the head hang wherever it needs, like no tension there. Deep feeling breath through the right side ribs. And then hugging the left knee in, just a little bit of a twist as you breathe out. Feel the right butt cheek engage a little. And then release. Step back to plank. Come forward on an inhale. Lower all the way down on an exhale. Set up for boat with shoulder shrugs. So the arms are in cactus. Your forehead is on the floor. You can do this with the legs down, if, particularly if you're tweaky in the lower back. You don't need to lift the legs, but if you want to, you can. So inhale, lift the chest, arms, shoulders, legs if you want. Exhale, squeeze shoulders, shoulder blades, and elbows in. So it's a little bit, well, you're doing shoulder shrugs, right? Take a breath in, broaden through the upper back. So the elbows come back to neutral. And then as you exhale with the chin tucked, squeeze shoulders, squeeze shoulder blades, 
and squeeze the elbows in. Do one more, inhale, broaden out through the upper back. Legs are active, whether they're down or up. Exhale, squeeze, shoulders, shoulder blades, elbows in. Release. Press back, down dog. We're nearly there, my friends. Last little bit. Lounge, lunge, step the right foot forward. Remember that there's an option to put the roll underneath your left thigh there, whilst the top of your left foot is on the floor. You can have your hands on blocks. You can have your arms in the air, whatever you want. But the intent really is to feel as though there's strength and support through the legs which allows for a softening through the upper body. And again, deep feeling breaths as the heart moves forward, there's more length. Let go through the lower belly as you breathe out. Release for lounge lunge. Option to use a block arm underneath the left hand will just lift you up a little bit higher. Take an inhale. Hang your left ribs down as you draw the right knee in on an exhale. And let go through the brain. For those of you whose area is at the side of the heart, which a couple of you were, this is a great opportunity to get your breath to touch into the sides there. So go beyond the bones and the skin and the blood. A little bit like you have x-ray vision where you go so deep inside. And then release. Just press to down dog only. Lower the knees. Have the knees. So you fold the mat over at least once, twice if it's a thinner mat. And remember with, so we're coming into camel. You can do this with your ribs on the wall. So if you're doing it on the wall, the thighs, the pubic bone and the rib cage stay on the wall and the thumbs are on the sacrum. Okay. Wall's a good option if you're just feeling like you need a little bit of extra support. Remember with camel, the butt is active. So you're really working to lengthen the lower back. Elbows in nice and close. Inhale, lift the chest. Feel the upper back bend rather than the lower back bend and then exhale into your version of camel. So it might be that you keep your hands on your sacrum to feel that it's lengthening. We want super, super long in the lower back and deep lifting through the chest. If it's a day where you can reach for your heels, by all means go there. But focus on the bending through the upper back again. So we want length through the lower back. Activation through the glutes. And if you're going for the heels, keep the chin tucked. And then five more breaths from here. So really hone in. Close the eyes down. This is the most spacious you will feel in this area through the whole day. So use the time wisely. Let the heart soften.
And then slowly, slowly, slowly. Ease on out. If you can, sit back onto your heels. If that's not an option, sit how you can and bring your hands to your lower back. I just want to feel like you're sitting back again. Your hip bones move away from the thigh bones. And then feel in for what sensations are happening for you. Maybe it's more space inside. Maybe there's tingling through the back line of the body. And then release. And come down onto your back. So your knees are bent. Feet are flat. And take the right ankle over the left for back release. So you're either, you can keep your left foot on the floor actually, or you can grab the back of the left thigh or the left shin. And then just for today, we're going to rock a little bit from side to side. And when you do that, there will be an area of tension in your right hip that feels particularly funky. When you get that, stay there. Pause and hold in that place where you feel the most amount of tension. And use your breath to soften. You're keeping your legs exactly as they are. You're going to take your left knee all the way over to your left until your right foot reaches the floor. For me, I like to have my left hand on the right ankle. It just feels like it keeps it in place there, but you don't need to. And then the right arm can either come out to shoulder height or overhead, whatever works. Maybe the gaze is to the right. Feeling that the spine can get heavy at the bones of the upper back. The heads of the shoulders. And then from there, bring everything back through the midline, uncross the ankles, just pause, knees bent, feet flat. And then the left ankle goes over right thigh as the knee comes into the chest, you hold the back of the thigh or the shin, or the right foot can stay on the floor, that might be plenty. And then just do that little rock of the pelvis from side to side and there will be an area that feels definitely more interesting for you. Pause there. And then easing all the way over. So the right knee moves to the right and the left foot reaches the floor. Right hand can support left ankle or not. 
Left arm either to the shoulder height or overhead. And feel where your body won't let go, like there's a, a lifting up or, or just this kind of not able to get super heavy. And just with your mind's eye, communicate with your bones that they can rest. Like really feel into the weight of the earth. And how deep the earth goes to the very center of the core. And then trust that the weight of the earth can actually hold your joints, your bones, your brain. And then bring everything back through the midline. Just draw the knees into the chest there. And make your way to final rest. If legs up the wall is just a better option, go there. Lying on your belly feels appropriate today, go there. And feel for what's unraveling internally. You lie in this place where there's nothing to do, there's nowhere to be. Just feel into how your tissues respond to that.
If you need longer here, stay. Otherwise, invite your breath in. And take time to transition one side slow. Eventually meet in somewhere comfortable and seated, whatever works. And the hands rest easy at the heart. Thumbs press just lightly on the sternum. Before we finish, go back to the area that felt particularly disconnected for you. Just take your awareness back there. Notice what just over an hour of breathing into that place has changed for you. And as always, we gratitude to the teachings of the practice, gratitude to our bodies. We bow, we finish, deep breath in, full breath out. Namaste. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you.